Elizabeth Arden cream. This one's wife. Nothing can come between their love. Ah. You have permission to get a chuck bucket as a consequence of the nonsense that you're likely to hear. This one's wife, as a middle mid range narcissist, operates a number of facades. There's the facade of being a loving and caring mother. There is the facade of being a kind, empathic human being. There's the facade of being a fashion expert, despite wearing clothing that tells us she's anything but. There is the facade of being a successful business individual. The facade of being a successful philanthropist. And the other facade that she operates is that of a successful and idyllic marriage, where her narcissism deems it's appropriate for her to keep telling us that they are so happily married, that they have to hold hands wherever they go, which nobody sees, unless you're a sugar as a sign of affection, but rather what it actually is, her controlling Harry and leading the little ginger poodle around. This time, of all the supine publications, Glamour magazine with an article by Kathleen Walsh, has been tasked with maintaining this facade and telling us that they are a couple who are just so in love, that theirs is an idyllic marriage, and that anybody else who says to the contrary is just a nasty, bigoted individual. The headline reads, This one's wife and Prince Harry look so relaxed and in love ahead of their sixth anniversary. How long have you been married for? Two years? Five years? Ten years? Do you feel the need to have a PR puff piece pumped out there to let everybody know that you still love your spouse? Do you feel the necessity of an article to be produced so that the world knows that you remain in love with one another? No. Why? Because you don't need to control people. You don't need to draw fuel from them. You don't actually need to mask what's really going on. You don't have a facade to manage. But this one's wife does. She doesn't realise that the more that she tries to tell the world that this is an idyllic marriage, the more people don't accept it. The fact is, we know it's not an idyllic marriage. Why? Because there's a narcissist involved in it. And whenever a narcissist is involved in a relationship, especially a romantic one, it's never, ever a happy relationship. Yes, the narcissist gets what he or she wants, draining the life out of the intimate partner primary source victim. But that victim is confused, berated, invalidated, belittled. They may be beaten up, they'll be shouted at, they'll be insulted, they'll be triangulated with other people, they'll be neglected, they'll be called names, they'll be subjected to the sustained devaluation. They may well be cheated on, they will be left behind, they may well be ostracised and isolated, all of these things take place, and it's abuse. It isn't a happy marriage. And similar things to those that I've just described will be happening to Harry. Why? Because he's married to a narcissist. That's how it works, without exception. And yet, in order to try to continue to con the world, this one's wife insists on PR publications being pumped out as PR puff pieces of this nature, whereby... Every day, I become more convinced that nothing can ever come between this one's wife and Prince Harry's love. Yes, what a gushing, sickly statement that is. The fact is, there is no love from this one's wife towards Harry. She believes that she loves him because the narcissism has convinced her of that fact. But it is really just a device generated to cause her to seek the prime aims to control him, to draw fuel from him. The narcissism doesn't say to her, you need to control Harry and you need to get fuel out of him. You need to acquire his character traits and get your hands on the residual benefits. It doesn't work like that. Instead, what it does is it causes her to believe that he's wonderful and that she loves him so that she's then motivated to control him with praise and flattery and spicy poontang. He thus responds favorably, giving her fuel continuing to dole out the character traits and residual benefits. On other occasions, it will convince her that he's a useless turd, so that she'll be nasty to him, thus asserting control over him by berating him and invalidating him, by belittling him, by insulting him. And his upset and argumentative response provides her 
with fuel. I know this because I'm an expert in narcissism. You know this because you're a sensible viewer of this channel. But the author of this piece fails to recognise that this is not a loving relationship. It can't be because there's a narcissist involved. Nevertheless, tasked with the PR Puff piece, Kathleen Walsh writes, Here to back me up are the PDA-filled pics of the ex-royals at a charity polo match from April the 12th. Harry's friend Nacho Fulgaris shared photos from the event on his Instagram, including one snap that showed the prince with an affectionate hand resting on his wife's back. Now, it's certainly the case that Harry's affectionate towards his wife. He does have an emotional empathy and he does love her. Although, there'll be times where he might be wondering, Christ, why do I? The pair was also photographed walking hand in hand, facade management, as they arrived at Royal Salute Polo Challenge, with this one's wife wearing a white halter neck dress reminiscent of some bandages. After the match, they were seen sharing a smooch, facade management, assertion of control by affection, as this one's wife presented her husband with the winning trophy. Royal etiquette doesn't strictly forbid kissing in public, but public displays of affection among senior royals tend to be rare. Well, actually, it tends to be rare amongst most people who aren't lovesick teenagers or narcissists. Unless those royals are this one's wife and Prince Harry, of course, who are no longer working royals, and who never really shied away from showing their love in front of the cameras anyway. Well, Harry had no choice because she demanded it, and she did it because she needs the world to know that she's apparently in love for the purposes of controlling the world and drawing fuel by way of its reactions. You may not remember, the author continues, but it was a big to-do when this one's wife and Harry shared a kiss on the lips after his polo match back in 2018 when they were first married. In fact, it was kind of a thing just to see them holding hands at official events. While Prince Harry and this one's wife holding hands is atypical for royal engagements, it is a seemingly welcome gesture to show unity and celebration of their engagement period, royal experts Mika Meyer told people at the time. Again, another individual who doesn't understand what they're seeing. And the author ends with, this is a love that simply cannot be stopped. No, if you understood that you were watching a narcissist and her victim, you would know that the love is one way. It flows from Harry, but it doesn't flow from her, because as a narcissist, with no emotional empathy, she is utterly and completely incapable of loving anybody other than herself. Yet, another PR puff piece that has been generated to convince all of you that they're idyllic, that they are completely in love, all part of the facade management, and to those of you that are blessed with the knowledge of my work, you know that it simply isn't true. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.